the action, but the club's position remains desperate. He alone is owed more than half a million pounds, and it's thought other creditors, like the Inland Revenue, may still try to have the winding up order served in court tomorrow. Middlesbrough Council has now withdrawn financial support, and the situation appears to be getting worse by the minute. To begin our investigation, sports editor David Burton reflects on the dramatic decline in fortunes at Hearson Park. Hearson Park, February the 14th, 1981, and Middlesbrough were on their way to an FA Cup fifth round win over Barnsley. The crowd of 37,557 was the biggest of the day, and the borough, with one of the most talented squads in the first division, were surely going places. But 15 months later, Middlesbrough were relegated. Their young stars sacrificed for the fool's gold of the transfer market and overpriced, inferior replacements brought in. The club was on a dramatic slide, and when a despairing board appointed the charismatic Malcolm Allison as manager in October 1982, the borough were anchored to the foot of Division 2, and Gates had slumped to 5,000, 10,000 below the break-even mark. The unopened sports centre was proving to be an expensive and controversial embarrassment. Football at Middlesbrough. This morning the club looked as though it was finished, wound up, and the latest rescue package rejected by the league. But this afternoon the consortium trying to save football in the town announced that their latest deal had been accepted and that the borough will play their opening match with Port Vale next week. As Keith Akers reports, it was a last minute affair. Okay, I think uh, the statement we'd like to make is that following further communications with the Football League, the consortium is satisfied that the Football League's conditions can be met in full and are proceeding to conclude arrangements. The announcement was greeted with stunned silence from the battle-weary media who'd followed every twist and turn in Borough's fortunes over the last three months. But even in their hour of triumph, the consortium, who've been so reluctant to talk in the past, found it difficult to speak freely and openly. They had to admit they'd done it by the skin of their teeth. If you'd asked me last night, I would have said the chances of Middlesbrough surviving were almost nil. And that was the real situation. The consortium have given in to all the Football League's demands for takeover deals, including the toughest, which is to pay all creditors in full. The borough owed £2 million, and the League also insisted on the consortium putting up an extra £350,000 to work with. It's understood the League had told the consortium privately that they had until noon today to come up with an acceptable package or they'd sanction transfer deals for the players. At least one was to have had talks with a new club tomorrow. But the news has come as a relief to manager Bruce Rioc, who was praised by the consortium for keeping the squad together. It's been a traumatic week for everyone at the club. Obviously we've had to cope with professional footballers and we've had to do it a professional way. Obviously the last week has been an absolute nightmare. Uh, well, for, not just for myself but for the players. We've, we didn't know where, where we were coming or going. And uh, hopefully now